I started doing aerobatics even before I soloed, and and uh, and then after that we got said, well, okay, we can do aerobatics, but now wouldn't it be more fun if we also flew in co in competition? So I flew in my first competition in 1968, and <laughs> and I won. And it was an Orion STA. I don't know if many of you even know what that aircraft type is, but it's one of the be most beautiful airplanes ever built in 1937. I know what Ryan Air is. Well, Ryan, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan STA, Ryan Air. Oh, if you don't know Ryan Air. <laughs> no, this is the real Ryan. The Ryan Aircraft Company uh, built the Spirit of St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Also built this airplane in 1937, so I was lucky to be able to fly one. And it had a Manasco engine in it, a mm -hmm. inverted inline engine, and I flew primary, what we called primary then, and I won. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I said that, 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 that I would win against all these other wonderful. Your father must have been very proud. Yeah, he was proud. Yeah. And I was 18, I think, at the time. So then I flew. Uh, after that, we got a, we built a pits from scratch in early 1969 and, and that's when I moved up to advanced and uh, uh, I didn't win the first time but I kept trying and then in 1970 I won five competitions in a row and then all of a sudden real life came along I got married and that usually <laughs> destroys any further flying <laughs> in contest but no actually that's not true uh, I went to the Air Force and, and flew there, and of course by that time I was flying competition uh, in advance, and so when I went into the Air Force, I actually showed the instructors how to do aerobatics, you know, so that was fun, uh, in the T-37 and the T-38. Uh, but uh, later, I be, uh, about that same time, we formed uh, the IAC, this pin I have here, and formed, and I was IAC number four, and it was a bunch of Tell me, what is IAC? IAC is International Aerobatic Club. Uh, sorry, we call it international, but uh, it's, it's usually... Don't pass for tonight. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, the American Aerobatic Club. We have now about 4,000 members, but it started with about five or six guys in Chicago area in late 1969 and early 1970. And it was my father who was the first president, and he wanted me to help him and it, it so happened that I was pretty good at administrative work and, and helping him because he was more visionary and I was more taking care of the day-to-day -day administrative work and but also he inspired me and a bunch of others to, to help so uh, we formed IAC and then it went on to become at one time as many as 6,000 members and 50 competitions in the United States every year and I was IAC number four well, then, uh, it's not finished yet. And my tongue is free now because I have a wine. <laughs> but, uh, so, later IAC took over the uh, U.S. representation at FAI and at SEVA. So I first came to SEVA in 1984 as the U.S. delegate because by that time I was president of, I've been president of IAC for three years. And so the duty fell to me to be the delegate. And so I came and I liked it. I liked, I really respected FAI for what they had done. Uh, and it was my first visit to the, uh, uh, to the FAI offices at that time in Paris. And, uh, and then two years after I first came, uh, SIVA elected me as president, uh, which was uh, sort of interesting because I was only delegate for two years. And uh, it was a real honor for me. And then, as you know, I, I only thought at first I'd be there maybe three years, because that was the... That's like me. The, I've been a president now for three years. Just, yeah. just, <laughs> just, uh, Sorry, but your time is up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw it only three years, so... Uh, but then it turned into one year it came and then another came, and I kept... I enjoyed the work. I, I loved the friends that I've made. Uh, that, of course, means more to me than anything, is the friends and the people that I've met. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little emotional now, but uh, no, if you stop it, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you. <laughs> but aerobatics soon became for me more than just the airplanes and the competition. It became also for me the people uh, that I met and who became my friends and, and the experiences that I had. And I was so thankful 
that my father and others that were 20 or 30 years older than me pushed me into the work. They really did. In 1973, I became vice president of IAC when I was only 23 years old. And they pushed me, and they helped me. And after that, I said, I really like this. And, and then, it, of course, it ended up with me being involved with FAI and SEVA and making a new uh, batch of friends and meeting new people beyond the borders of the United States. And I guess that's what it's meant to me more than anything, uh, are the friends and the people. And they're what is what they are what make uh, SEVA, FAI, and of course our own aerobatic organizations at home, the rich and, and wonderful organizations they are because of the strength and the talents and the skills of their people. And I thank all of you for being part of my life and of course also honoring me with this uh, certificate, Miss Medal, tonight. The least we can do. Least we can do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I wonder, um, you're still active with it. Uh, yeah, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, questions. Some, <laughs> some people pick up golf. Do you consider that? No, I have, don't have time for that. No? no. Golf? I don't do golf. I don't. Golf is, uh, is a good uh, outdoor activity. I've heard it, and I've had friends that say I should do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's an expression in golf um, called four. 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 Yeah. It's yeah. so, here I come sort of thing. Uh, I'm, out, I'm, I'm in action. I think there's a special four song. Golf. If you will stand up, please all stand. We we'll sing you a golf song. <laughs>